pretty interesting with all these currents in here. Right? Whoa! Whoa! That's not what I was supposed to do. <laughs> what? <laughs> right now, I am waiting for the guys. Uh, we're gonna do the upper Kettle River. This stretch is flooded. The parking spot right now even, there's water on basically all sides. So it's gonna be pretty crazy, but I mean, it's gonna be awesome. That's where we're gonna flip is in a cross current or something like that. Not me, I'm too good, but you guys, maybe. Blake's putting his race gear on. Did, did you know this was like class one up here? It was class one, lower downstream. There shouldn't have been any class rapids up here. We have a few islands up here early on and then it kind of dies off. There's some good ones up here. <laughs> oh, there's another good you carry. Yeah, that one must be a new river coming in. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, this you have jumped here? Yeah, you didn't jump from here. Huh. Well that wasn't very deep I Oh, yeah, no problem. Five five owner partnership, like us four, and then Sabina. Look at the rock I mean you probably deserve it, so <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, this is a nice wave. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, it's definitely class two here, in case you're wondering. I've got no water in my boat yet. I kind of love that. Oh, it's shallow here. <laughs> is this a new river now? Yeah, I don't know. I bet it is. <laughs> yeah, Blake! Woo! <laughs> I can get closer to Blake and see if he sneaks through here alive. Not alive. You're definitely making it alive. <laughs> Every wave, I get tripping on my feet. I took a couple of giant waves, and I'm like, yeah! It's right on the cusp. It has to be. Good! Of two and three? Yeah. Yeah. I think so too.
Just messing around. They don't seem to have much of a roll to them. Oh. We just got hit by a good wall of wind. So I'm a little bit worried that we have a storm front. Let's pay attention. They do look nice. Is this is this the Highway 12 bridge? There's some rapids here! my GoPro. Oh, uh, could you imagine if I put this in my video how critical people would be of you guys not wearing your helmets? I have no helmets. Hey. No dry suits. Why don't you guys take off your life jackets? And then... <laughs> I'd like you guys to fashion together a pontoon of sorts and then do a kind of response again. Well, Blake, this is our second paddle boat we could harvest from the river. We got one of those at our current house because we got it in the river. <laughs> Closer to home. Yep. I wonder how far it came from. I don't think we can find it later if it's smart enough to look for it. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So right now we are kayaking the upper part of the Kettle River. Now we definitely knew and expected the water level to be high. Um, it's pretty awesome. It is, it's been way more epic than we thought. We thought class one to two, if it is as high, like epic flood level stage, it is definitely some class three. There's not what I consider to be real dangerous rapids. There aren't curlers or holes to really get stuck in, with the exception of very few, and those could easily be avoided. This is, this is a fun river. I think it would be great no matter what because there's just there's so much stuff to look at. There's, it's just beautiful river. This is crazy back here. Wow. How the beat? This is like the little section of the river that you see on the map that you never see unless the water is really high. Right. I'm looking at these and thinking, these beavers have done some work. Yeah, they have. There's two of them here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Oh, there's two sticks there. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> you got stuck. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Can you get forward or... <laughs> oh, and there they are. Alright. That'll have it. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> as far as the upper kettle goes, this is a fantastic float. We did about 14 miles. It was definitely more fun than I expected because there was a lot of good white water. But if you came on this river expecting class one, you could run into some trouble. But there really weren't too many trees that were in the way or we had to, we didn't have to get out to avoid anything. But there are definitely overhanging branches in the flood level. Um, yeah, it's a great river. And remember, life's an adventure, so get out and live. I thought you said you were going to start it either way. I did, but I'm not actually that. I just thought you meant that you uh, had stuff to do down there. So uh, you didn't want to start cooking straight up. With the, uh, when they had those grill baskets on sale, they also had a... Get it. 